Hello, Marcus Lim here with Aquaman Andromeda, the hardcover collection collecting all three issues of this mini series. Now, this is a black label series, okay? So, it, this doesn't take place in DC continuity, the main DC continuity, which is actually a good thing in the sense that it allows Ram V, right, and Christian Ward to come up with their own very unique Aquaman story, as we'll see. And uh, it says here, best upcoming comic in years, right? And also, Slipper Heat of the Summer, engaging on every level. So, you know, uh, got some good praise from uh, people. <clears throat> and yeah, as I mentioned, it collects the complete mini series Aquaman Andromeda number one to three. So, there are only three black uh, issue, black level issues. I actually don't have the um, individual issues, so I sort of uh, missed out on this when it first came out, right? So that's okay. <laughs> now that the this collection is out, I'll be able to get all of the issues all in one volume. So let's take a look at this. Let's take the jacket off first. Okay, that's a jacket front. And back and this is what it is without the jacket okay uh, that's the front and that's the back it's, a, it's just a big wrap around cover okay so let's get into the book now Aquaman Andromeda Aquaman Andromeda Ramvi is the writer okay so the premise is that there's this structure at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, more precisely, it's at the bottom of a place they've designated. Uh, I think it's Point Nemo or something. And uh, so there's that structure, right? And a lot of people are interested in that, including Black Manta and other people as well. So what happens is they've got this experimental submarine called Andromeda, right, which is the title uh, of this uh, series, uh, which is tasked to actually go down and investigate uh, along the way, you know, like, uh, yeah, bad things happen as well. <clears throat> so it's a bit like, I mean, you can just tell, right, just from the pages. It looks very like got a horror feel to it, right? Lovecraft style. Even Aquaman himself, right? Aquaman himself is presented as a sort of like a very like a mysterious demigod, um, you know, half god, half human. <clears throat> uh, along the way, we've also got these backstories of all the crew members of Andromeda, right? All their individual uh, backstories and how they came to be. Okay, so that's I think this is issue one finished. Issue two starts now. Okay, Andromeda. Right. So yeah, different um, characters, crew members, histories <coughs> are presented along the way. Um. Yeah, as I mentioned, right, Aquaman is presented as this like mystic uh, character. <clears throat> but what the what Ram V the writer is trying to do really is right it's, it's not your typical superhero uh comic, right? This this touches on, you know, like philosophical ideas about many meaning, you know, um what the fears that drive us. It's a pretty gruesome story as well. Right, it's, it's what it's, it feels a bit like alien in that sense, right? The paranoia of alien, are set in the at the bottom of the ocean, right? But yeah, it, it's 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 an existential horror story. <laughs> it's what it is. At the end, right? You can imagine, like it's like just like an alien, right? Each of the crew members gets taken out like one by one. Um, the mystery of, you know, what is this alien ship all about, like what is its function and its purpose, 
right it's pretty pretty interesting twist to it right uh turns out that it's actually atlantean in origin and that the alien ship is actually a prison like for this being that shouldn't have escaped um but yeah at the end they had to blow it up or something like that right you just have to read for yourself um okay so the variant covers all right so that's the variant for number one number one and number two number two and number is that three yeah three and three there you go uh, some extras designing a common arts and word art and words by christian ward now christian ward is you know uh, a uh, Eisner Award, I think he is an Eisner Award winning uh, creator in his own right and incidentally he's also got his own black label series that's currently running called uh, Batman City of Madness so definitely check that out like when it comes out as well in hardcover but yeah so here you've got two you know top tier creators at the top of their game right Randy Christian Ward uh, bringing us Aquaman Andromeda um, as I said it's not your typical um, Aquaman superhero story so if you're looking for that kind of story then this is probably not what you're looking for because you know this is really a, a, as I mentioned more of a Lovecraft sort of horror story that happens to feature Aquaman right Aquaman isn't I would say isn't even a main character right more like a secondary character in this story uh horror story which you know is right up james one's alley right so james one's doing the aquaman movies um something like this would definitely be great material for him to adapt now if if he does choose to go down this path in the future but we'll see uh so yeah so that's a quick look at aquaman andromeda in hardcover so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.